hi guys in this part I'm gonna create this header for our application so first of all we need to create a home page for our application and then I generate a react component and if you wonder how I generated this react component you need to install ES7 React Redux GraphQL extension and uh, there's another extension called uh, Tailwind CSS Intelligence uh, and uh, this extension is for <coughs> having an intelligence for Tailwind uh, CSS classes and here uh, after creating homepage component I need to uh, create a main layout for my application because uh, the header and footer component uh, are two components that are repetitive in many pages and uh, for this reason uh, I need to create a main layout so here I create a main layout and again I generate a react component and I remove this text and then here I need to create and then import header and footer component so first of all I create a header component and then I import my header component here header and footer component okay and then I import my footer component then uh, I get my children from props and I put it here okay so uh, this children means that everything that is between main layout tag will be included here between header and footer footer components uh, okay then let me close this tabs and uh, so home page uh, okay I didn't import my main layout here I need to import my main layout here and uh, at this moment I don't need to import anything between my main layout tags but but uh, for other uh, parts I will uh, import for example hero components or uh, article components in in the <coughs> future parts okay so here uh, I start to create my header and first of all I create a section and then put my header put my header in it okay so as you can see there's two parts here one section and here second section so I need to create two divs here one and two and in the first div I import my logo logo image here so I click on my logo and then I click on export 
logo and I want to save it in my assets folder okay uh, for managing the images images pass better uh, I want to create a constants uh, some constants for all my images in my constants folder so I create an an index JS file and images that JS okay here I import my image from assets folder so as you can see my image is in assets folder I import my logo from assets folder and then I create a constant mm, constant named images and I put my logo in it and then I export my constant as a variable export default images so and then I import uh, actually I export my images constant from this main file okay so default as images from images okay then here in the header I can use my images constant here use images that logo as you can see I imported it from constants that constant slash index dot js okay we can put index dot js here or we can remove it okay and then write logo for alt property and uh, then let me put both uh, both uh, VS Code uh, and Chrome uh, beside each other okay so here I run my app then I open my local host 3000 doesn't matter okay and here I'm gonna put both of them beside each other okay and uh, next I need to import my home page in the app.js component that's why you you're not seeing the my home page component okay home page okay so no we should see we have an error can't resolve assets okay I import I imported my images from rank path okay then I need to logo that a switch okay so now we can see my uh, we can see or logo and then in the header let's continue or 
our structure okay then uh, we need to create the second part second part means this navigation okay so for this we create an or an on ordered list and then we put li it okay so um, then we put a a tag and write for example here is home home and uh, can create some duplicate articles pages articles pages and uh, pricing and FAQ pricing and FAQ so uh, then I also need to create a button called and I put sign in text in it sign in. okay then we need to style or or elements okay so first of all I give it a container and then mx auto means margin from left and right auto and then there's a px padding x5 and i think that's it and for this one so we need a flex justify pet fin okay and here again flex gap x five or maybe I don't know maybe nine or whatever I think five is good for now uh, okay flex and again gap x nine I'm creating this header for desktop so we need to we need to see it in desktop and uh, in other parts I will responsive this header for mobile and tablet devices so for this moment we're creating our header for desktop and uh, okay i need to give it a five p five p e p y uh four again and okay it's good here uh you wanna make uh, or button like this button so sample there's a BG blue 500 I was right border to BG border blue 500 and uh, it needs also a px 
six and py three or maybe two i think two is better and run that full run that full okay text blue 500 font semi bold and uh, i think that's it let's give it a transition for example here at first it doesn't have any background but when it's hovered it will be bg blue 500 and also the text will be white okay so let's give it a transition transition all and duration 300 okay i think it's better then let's give this header element items center class and this one items center okay again all of these nav items will be found semi bold okay it's good and then uh, we wanna create a cool animation when we hover these nav items okay so for uh, this purpose uh, I need to create another element called uh, span and okay and then uh, let's give the link uh, a space example px4 I think it's good I don't know and for sync or elements width width and height I'm gonna give it a bg red 500 but it's temporary I just need to see our element okay here mm, I'm gonna add another classes okay I make this this a slash blue with text blue 500 and for our animation let's give it a p p y two okay and for for our animation i need to give my li a relative position and uh, then i give it a group class okay group class uh, why uh, we're giving or li a group class a group class is a class that when uh, for example when we want to hover on our li and then uh, something will be happened for or span element or for our uh, anchor attack element okay so uh, for this reason we need to give our li tag a group class and here 
for example, I say when I hovered, for example, when I hovered my li, my anchor tag will be will be, for example, red or green. Okay, so now if I if I hover my li, my anchor tag will be green. Okay, so that's why we're giving a group class. Okay, I'm gonna remove this and now I give my span tag uh, an absolute position and transition all. Okay, duration 500 and uh, also font bold. Next, we need to give it a right zero and top zero. So it's here. Our anchor tag is here. And then I need to, when I hovered on my li, uh, my span will go from, from right to left. Okay, and uh, for this, for uh, this one, I need to create its opacity zero, and then when I hovered my li tag. It will go from right to left. So right right for example ninety percent. Let me remove this opacity here. As you can see, we have an animation here. So far, so good. So, um, at first, this span tag is invisible, and then when we hovered on our element, it will be visible city 100 okay so like this let me remove this red class and as you can see we have a cool animation simple but it's cool in my opinion <laughs> okay so I'm gonna implement this animation for all the nav items. So here, um, I don't wanna uh, repeat my code. And for this reason, I prefer to create another component called nav item. And then I put my nav item here and I get my name from the props and I also want to create another constant called uh, nav items info nav items info and I create an object home 
for the first element for the second element it's articles third pages fourth pricing and fifth FAQ okay so I remove my repetitive code and I use map function to render all the nav items here I write nav items nav items info that map item and I return my nav item here for the key I give it the name of the element and uh, for the name I again give the name from the item okay so now all the items have an animation but I think there's a lot of space between these elements so I think I can make it smaller okay I think it's good so uh, here I think it's enough for this part and uh, in this part I created the header component